Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. In the past, I have taken you to several grocery stores to check what items were available and how long were the lineups. Today, I'll take a different approach and try to do grocery shopping, staying home online. So there are many uh, different types of service providers. Uh, some of these uh, th providers are actually third-party service providers and they will uh, you know, bring uh, groceries to your uh, doorstep uh, for a service fees. And these fees can run uh, a lot or sometimes you know they can be expensive and also there are uh, grocery stores themselves who will uh, deliver to your do doorstep for a service fee of uh, $10, $12 or $15 but the problem is that you know most of these grocery stores uh, have no available time slots and in order to find these you have to just search online uh, and then uh, you know just the way I'm mm, showing you and then you can see like you know what uh, stores or third party providers are available today i'll con concentrate on only two uh, grocery stores uh, who deliver their own uh, products uh, via grocery gateway uh, and uh, metro online store so the first store we are going to be looking at is longo's grocery gateway and then uh, once we go to the website then you'll see that you know everything is uh, organized here you can see the tabs on the top and you can also ch uh, click on the see all aisles and then it will give you a brief uh, you know rundown of what the grocery stores or online grocery stores uh, has so today i'll just you know add some items from uh, here and then i'll see that you know if it can be delivered to my doorstep and if any time slots are available so i'm searching for rice here and uh, I'll just add one rice to the cart uh, so you can you know uh, add rice by going to the specific section where rice is available or you can just you know search for rice so you have to enter your postal code to find out that you know whether they deliver uh, to your address and then uh, if they do then you can just you know keep a grocery uh, shop online so i added a car rice for nine dollars and 99 cents and then i'm going to add some uh, fruits and vegetables so what i noticed about this uh, store is that it looks like everything is organized and neat it's not hard to find and when you are adding things to the cart it shows you the number of items and the price which is very handy uh, so you know that you know how much you are spending and then here i noticed that they have a same day delivery available for uh, fourteen dollars and ninety five cents but uh, you know this may not work right now because of the covid 19 situation and uh for this specific store uh, there's a minimum of fifty dollars purchase and i believe there's a ten dollars delivery uh fees uh, which we'll uh, take a look uh shortly so i'm adding here uh some uh, beef and my cart is right now at looks like twelve actually I'm sorry 4272 and in order to make the $50 minimum we'll just you know add some more items and I'm looking for some ice creams here so they have a variety of ice creams and uh, you know I'll just pick one uh, without checking uh, what they have to offer or all of them so now is my still i'm short uh so i'll just add another item to make it over 50. so i'll just add some you know um, quick or ready-made uh, food and we'll just add some sandwiches to see what you know what they have available Actually, I forgot that you know I'm running out of bread, so I'll just add uh, a bread. So that should make it over uh, fifty dollars. So I'll click on the home delivery option, reserve now, and then it's taking me to a page, and then it's asking me to select a delivery window. So I have ninety minutes to select my options, and then here, if you are looking at the days which are available then you can see actually nothing is available so all of them are booked so i'm just going far as much as the system offers 
and here I'm staying at May 8 and looks like you know they're all booked up there's nothing available so there's no way for me to have this delivered at my doorstep so I'm just showing you the cart anyway because uh, uh, here you can see some more information so for example the delivery fee is nine dollars and ninety nine cents then there's a fuel searcher which is one dollar and my total is sixty three dollars and uh, because you know there is no delivery time slots available so I couldn't you know uh, check out I couldn't uh, do anything here you can s actually save you uh, save your listing uh, by clicking save to shopping list and then when you uh, do grocery again next time you can just you know reload the whole thing uh, that's a very nice feature so if you are someone who usually buy the same things you can just like you know reload your old grocery is what you bought last time and then you can just like an you know, add or delete some from there so this is a very uh, good feature so here I'm just trying to like you know uh, see if it let me allow to uh, choose a delivery time slot after uh, entering my email address so I'll just choose a fake address and see if you know anything changes because uh, depending on address it might change the time slot for deliveries at that specific address so I I've cho I chose a fake address, fake uh, phone number, and everything. But still, I can see that you know there is nothing available. So I have a feeling that you know they are uh, all booked for uh, as long as their system offers due to the situation, because a lot of people just you know booked this a long time ago. So now I'll check another uh, delivery store, which is Metro Online, and they kind of recently started. This is not as old as the grocery gateway and i'll see that you know how their system works and whether this is better or worse than grocery gateway so here you have to choose your stuff from the aisles which is on top and then you can also search uh, by specific item but what i'm noticing here that you know the things are not that organized by like grocery gateway so i'll just click on the aisle to choose some items So here I'm going to choose uh, uh, beef. The selections are not bad, uh, but you know I somehow I don't I don't think this is like an organized like grocery gateway, and it doesn't give you uh, like you know uh, too many uh, options. Uh, so here I'll just add uh, one item to the cart and then here same thing it's asking you to give you a postal code so I'll just enter a fake postal code uh, fake meaning this is not my uh, real postal uh, address postal code and looks like the deliver uh, to this address so I'll just add it and now it's asking me to choose a time slot but the thing is when I'm trying to you know click on it it doesn't work so I think this is they have a system problem so it could be that they have no more time slot but uh, unlike the grocery uh, gateway they are not actually giving you any information it's just like you know the system stops working so now I added one item to the cart and you can see that you know uh, it doesn't show you actually how much is the price uh, so grocery gateway if you remember uh, they showed how much was the total so you would know that you know that you are not close to your minimum yet but here you have to click on the card to see how much you have added so this is not you know user friendly uh, option or uh, online store uh, to do grocery shopping so I'm going to just add another item and then you will see that you know that my card uh, number is changed to two but same thing here it doesn't show how much is your total so you have to just like you know keep adding and you have to check uh, each time that you know how much is your total there so definitely uh, grocery getaway is much better uh, or user friendly than uh, Metro online so let's try adding some more items and uh, we'll make it up to our minimum I believe uh, it should be the same here $50 minimum but we'll, we'll see how much is the minimum here so I'm just keeping uh, keep adding more items here so here I'm adding broccoli looks like it's on sale and you can choose how many uh, items you want and if I check the card then you can see that my total is now 3280 and it's not giving me any other information for example uh, delivery or how much is the minimum actually I'm sorry I just um, noticed that there's minimum of $50 right there 
so same like the other one uh, this one has a fifty dollars uh, dollars minimum so I'm just going to you know get some more items from here uh, let's check some uh, you know uh, prepared food or sandwiches or what other things they have to offer okay so I just added some uh, sandwiches here and I'm staying at seven items right now and uh, I have to click on it to see my total and looks like my total is now 50 80 so I passed the minimum so I'll try to check up now and see what if it works but it mentions here the time slots not available or selected but here once I selected then I can see that there's one time slot available uh, so what it looks like that someone just canceled that you know time slot because everything else is full and one is available in the middle so someone probably canceled that and that became available so I'll just uh, take that and confirm but now it takes me to the same screen again we were before and then it doesn't do anything you know I just keep clicking on it but it doesn't work so they have uh, like you know system issues uh, which is not user friendly they should tell you right up front that you know uh, this time is uh, slot is gone but instead it's just taking you back to that screen and it's not working so I'll just try it you know a few more times to see uh, if this works but same thing no luck here and you know okay so what happened I just kept clicking on it then it took me to another time slot uh, available so I just I'll do the, do the same thing but then again it just keep repeating the same error so it's just like you know taking you to the same page and you cannot go to anywhere from there so I'll try to trick the system by changing the postal code and see if you know this works so let's do that again I'll take uh, pick a fake uh, real postal code but a fake address this is not my real address postal code and see if anything works here so it took me to the screen again but I don't think it's working so I'm just going to show you uh, like you know if I can see what's their delivery fees so I'll just check the facts section and then you can see here that uh, they have like you know explained everything and I'll just see what is the delivery fee here so here you can see that you know eleven dollars and ninety nine cents uh, delivery fee if I'm not mistaken the grocery gateway was ten either ten dollars or eleven dollars what we found out that you know grocery gateway looks like more user friendly and works better than uh, Metro Online uh, Metro Online just keep uh, keeps taking you to the same error page again and again and it's not even telling you that you know uh, the available time slot is gone or the system is down so the idea is the same whether you are grocery uh, you know uh, doing online uh, grocery at uh, Metro or any other stores so basically you have to do everything online and pick a time slot and pay the card and then you know they will deliver to your a specific time slot but right now looks like everything is booked so you will not be able to do like in you know, a grocery online uh, uh, as long as the situation uh, exists probably people book these time slots long before so thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you